Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video in this uh, YouTube WordPress uh, plugin building series. And also, hey, if you like what you're getting here, subscribe, will you? Uh, and in this video, guess what we're going to do? We're going to add a cron job to our WordPress. And for anybody who's not familiar, cron jobs are automated tasks that can be ran from your website even when you're um, not on it. So meaning you don't have to like specifically visit a page or refresh a page or something for an event to take place. The uh, the brain inside of your website's like, hey, I want to do this and I want to do it at this time. And then it just, it does it. And um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a cron job and guess what's going to be in that cron job? The renew function we just created. We're going to take all this code from the renew function and we're going to plop it directly into that um, uh, updater and it's going to update our videos automatically for us once a day. How's that sound? All right, well, it's easier than it sounds. Actually, this video won't be 20 minutes like the last one. Good God, if you made it through that, pat yourself on the back. Uh, but here's how we're gonna do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to actually go to the includes folder and we're gonna go to the activator. And this happens uh, when plugin gets activated, it's gonna fire up the activator and then it's gonna, um, it's gonna fire up an event. And so on the activate, we're gonna go ahead and jump in here and we're going to create a new cron job. This is when the plugin gets activated. Really easy. Okay, and we're gonna create an if statement. And in this if statement, we're gonna be using something called the WP scheduler. Um, this is a schedule event that's built into WordPress for cron jobs by default. It's really helpful and uh, it makes it so we don't have to do it in any advanced complicated way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if not, we want it to say if not, the next scheduled, see how it has it here? Um, it's checking to see what's scheduled next and we're going to create our own hook here and we're going to call this WP 10 vid updater That's the the actual thing scheduled if that's not scheduled. Okay, and then also we need to um, I need to go ahead and give it some arguments. You know what actually in our case We don't really need to give it any uh, arguments not in the if statement part anyway so if it's not the next scheduled event which it shouldn't be. Okay, so I keep telling you guys I'm working on a laptop and I'm just not, I'm used to working on an ergonomic keyboard. So flat, regular looking keyboards uh, give me a hard time. Okay, we need to create a schedule. We need to say WP um, schedule event. See this one here? All right, and here's what it wants. First thing it wants is a, is a timestamp integer, in which case we're just gonna say time. That's what we're gonna feed it. Um, this is because it's actually gonna output to somewhere where we can um, read it in uh, WordPress logs, and I'll show you that too. The second argument that it wants is um, the frequency, and in our case, we're just gonna go daily. And then in the uh, hook, this is actually what it's calling to. Um, we're gonna name this the, well, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we have to we're gonna go ahead and name it the same thing as what we're checking for the event, and then in the arguments array, I'm not gonna pass any arguments in this particular case. Okay, so look guys, we've now created a scheduled timed event, but now what we need to do is we actually need to add it in our um, public hooks, in our defined public hooks. We need to add this. Um, to, to the loader. So how we can do that is go back to includes and then just the plugin names file and we have our defined admin hooks which is all of our short codes and all that and then we have our public hooks which is all of our short codes. Down here at the bottom we're gonna say add the um, scheduled event or in our case cron jobs. Alright perfect. And uh, this is really simple. We could just say this loader and we want to add an action very similarly to up here. Open it up. And in the very first one, what it wants is it wants the, uh, the name of the job. Then it wants the class it's going to be calling to. In this case, it's calling to the public class. It's where the, the code's going to be set. I guess it could really be an admin class in our case. Um, probably should be an admin. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I'd want to put it in the public necessarily. Let's put it in the admin. Okay. This loader add action. We're going to put it in the plugin admin. That's what we're going to call this too. And then we need to call the uh, function or the function that it's going to run. And in this case, let's just call this update the videos or y, YT WP10 video update. 
that's fine. Okay, and in the first part here, what we need to actually put in is the uh, the action, and back in our activator, that's the name of the scheduled event right here. All right, so now we've added that action, and there's only one thing left to do, which is go to the ag uh, pub the admin file right here, scroll on down to the bottom, and inside the class here, what we're gonna do is we're going to add another public function. We're gonna say public, oh boy, public function. And what do we call it? Well, back in our plugin right here, we can grab it from right here. That's what the function is gonna be called. Open it, sodium. <laughs> okay, and there it is. Now on the importer call, Guess where we're taking? We're taking everything inside of the renew function. Everything you see here inside the renew, except for BLN true and all that. We're, we're going to take that out. But everything you see inside the renew block, we're taking back to the admin and we're placing right here, except for any renews or outputs. We need to pull any renews or echoes or outputs out because it's not going to echo renew or output anywhere. Uh, I'd probably search it harder too. Like right here, echo, there are no videos. We don't want it to do that. And look at that. So now on the plugin reactivation, you guys, we just created a cron job that's gonna run once a day and do this for us. So once again, to reiterate, we started by going into the, uh, in the includes folder and into the activator. And then we added this function here, which was if not the next scheduled, create a time daily event calling in this event. Then in our overall plugin, we went into the define admin hooks. We created a new action with that name of the event, calling to the plugin admin class to determine its where its function is. And this was its function name. In the admin class, we created a new function with that same name as the name. And then we simply pasted in the importer call that happens manually when we click the button. And then we just took out any echoes. Simple enough. Pretty simple. WordPress makes this actually pretty easy. So guess what? At this point, we now have a plugin that's running once a day, automatically updating our videos. Now we do have an issue on our display because it's displaying new videos at the bottom and we could fix this and I probably will fix it. Hold on. Okay, all I had was an extra um, squiggly bracket at the bottom of my file here, of my admin file. But it's adding them at the bottom, the newest videos. This is actually the newest one. It should really be up here. And uh, that's okay, it's not a big deal. I could, like I said, we could do it by, um, Video publish date is really how we should be ordering these, not by how they're added to the database. And I'll probably make a video on that as well. Okay, but anyway guys, that's how you add a really simple cron job to the WordPress plugin boilerplate. You just add, like I said, you just add it in the activator, this, just like this. Add it in the, as a loader action. And then make sure wherever you're calling to, whether it's your public or your admin, you make a function for it and then put whatever you want in that function to be ran uh, at the interval. And the intervals, I think by default, can be hourly, daily, and uh, weekly? I'd have to double check, but I know in this case we're just going daily, and that'll work just fine. Anyway, hey, like I say in every video, subscribe, will you? And double subscribe, will you? And then if you need help, go ahead and comment and uh, let me know. Uh, and if it was helpful, let me know. And uh, other than that, hey, I look forward to seeing you in the next one, and also check the GitHub because I'm pretty sure I would have updated it by now, hopefully. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one.